I'm just gonna make some peanut butter cups. Do you remember know those ones I made them ages ago? And they're really nice, and they make them go while we're watching Buffy. But I thought I'd film me making them. I'll pop the recipe in the description box because I'm not gonna do like a step by step. But I'll show you what I'm doing a little bit. So, first of all, I need to measure out the stuff I need. So, let's start. Let's start there. Okay, all the ingredients you need, peanut butter, obviously essential, chocolate, I get like a mix of um, milk and dark, so that just kind of takes it off at the edge of the sweetness a little bit, um, cream cheese, granulated sugar, vanilla extract, and a bit of salt, and that is it. So first up, I need to measure the stuff. Yeah, that's the first step. So I've just lined some bun casings, I didn't have any, so I've just made some with baking parchment with melted milk chocolate and then these go in the freezer and they make like the bottom of the um, peanut butter cup. And then in this bowl is just some broken up bits of chocolate, if you can get chocolate chips and that'd be better, um, peanut butter, sugar, salt and then cream cheese which are about to fold in a little bit. So this is them when they're finished, so you just put the mixture like in the first bit of the cup we made that we froze and then pour more melted chocolate on top. They look kind of scruffy, because, you know, didn't have bun casing, but they'll be super, super tasty, so, yes. Hello, guys. I have been rushing around like a crazy person today. Just picked up this week's film, and I really, really, really like them. They look really good. Um, so, when I was waiting for the film, because I thought, and, but I've been in and out, it's been one of those days where every time I leave the house, then I get an email, and I'm like, right, I need to go back and sort this out now. So it took me three attempts to get out of the house this morning, and then by the third attempt, I thought, right, I can't be bothered, go into the, um, oh, brain, engage, photo place, the film developing place, um, and then coming back to then go back out again to pick it up because it should only really take an hour, so I thought I'd just go out and then kill some time in town. And then I accidentally, maybe on purpose, went into Selfridges while I was killing some time, and I've fallen in love with a handbag. Where's my phone so I can show you a picture of the handbag? I'm gonna drag Harry along tomorrow morning, hopefully. I don't know what he's doing, but hopefully he's free, to have a sneaky look at this bag. Right, it's the Barcelona bag, but I'm gonna show you the pictures on my phone. Okay, this is it, and it's in the color called Mink, and it's the Barcelona bag by Loewe, and it has this, like, this is like the clasp here, so wait, if we keep going, there is one. Oh, took a lot of pictures. Okay, so this is it without, so that's the thing dangling down there, and that fastens it, so it threads through that um, loop, and the front flaps down over it. I also tried on that one, but I think I prefer this. So yeah, it's just really, really, really like it. I like the colour, I like the size, I like the strap. Like, Can you see the way it threads through there? It's adjustable, I like how it looks on my front, um, and it would look great a little bit longer as well. So, hell, that's a nice face. Hello. <laughs> um, so yeah, I really like it. So I've been on the hunt for a um, new structured bag. I've got my Saint Laurent one, which I love. Had that for about three years now, maybe. I really, really love it because it's kind of quite smart as well. And then obviously I got my other my Loewe puzzle one relatively recently in February. I got that one, and I love that. So much. I cannot recommend that bag enough. It's really durable. It's a great everyday bag. It looks great. I love it. I really, really love it. But it's not super smart. So I wanted something that could be a bit smarter. And I like the colour for winter because against all black it's going to really show up and, you know, not just get lost in an outfit and make an outfit a little bit more interest 
interesting. So basically, I really like that bag. wasn't necessarily planning on buying a handbag, but I've been looking for one, um, sort of on and off. But anyway, I'm going to take Harry tomorrow. Why am I telling you this? Because maybe we'll go look at it again tomorrow. What I did do was go to Boots. So I'll show you what I got. All incredibly dull. But we, who, I think everybody loves a bit of a boring Boots haul. The first thing I got was some toothpaste. The Colgate Max White one. Because it was on offer. And for no other reason than that. So I got some more of my favourite cotton pads. The big oval ones. I also got some more dry shampoo. The original Batiste one is my favourite one. I have never found one I like more than that. This is the third one of these I've bought now. This is the mascara. It's the Dior Show Iconic Over Curl Mascara. This is a really, really, really good mascara. I cannot recommend it enough. As I said, it's the third one I've bought. And then I also bought a perfume. This is sometimes on offering booth. It's Obsession by Calvin Klein. So this is like, normally it's like 70 pounds for the 100 ml, but sometimes it's on offer for 38. So I picked this up because it was half price. And um, this is, Harry's mum wears this. And this is one of those ones if someone walks past me in the street wearing this, I can smell it instantly and I'm like, oh my god, I love that smell so much. It's such a nice smell. It's it's the normally I only wear men's fragrances. I don't like women's fragrances. I don't like flowery sweet fragrances at all. But this is a really manly woman's one and I love it so much. So I picked that up. So that was like a classic moment of spending nipping into boots 70 pounds later. Get the whistle on. Get the whiskey out, I'm not playing for the camera. <laughs> some in there, please. Oh my god, it's having two whiskeys tonight. Oh my god. I can't open it with It's quite hand. tight, but I've got bad wrists. We're listening to a bit of the Buffy musical. I listen to this more often than I'd like to admit, because I genuinely, it just makes me so happy. It's the best thing ever. And it's the song by Spike, rest in peace, obviously the best one. No, Sing it on. Um, so Harry's about to make us some dinner. We're having that? steak and chips. You said you were going to start at six. At six. Yeah, I'll put some shorts on first. Okay. And then we'll probably watch some Buffy. I'm just finishing up some work. I absolutely love the photos from today's film post. Where have you got the? Oh, they're here. I'll show you the, the top three, but they'll be on the blog with along with this week's weekly vlog. But my favourites are this one of me and Harry. It's completely out of focus on us, but I really, really, really like it. I also really, really, really like this one of my shoes. That one. I also show you my top three. A lot, it's a lot. Okay, four. I really love this one because it's me moodily posing next to a Buffy box set, which I feel is like a very me thing. Can you see the Buffy box set in the corner? There, that's where it is in real life and in a photo. There we go, not focusing, but anyway. And then also this one. I absolutely love this picture. It's one of my fave ever of myself. Which is saying something because I have a lot of pictures of myself lying about. And, and an extortionist amount so yeah that's the plan for this evening hello oh rolling over that's lovely oh running away hi, hi. Right, see you hi oh it's getting a suitcase over the threshold hello. Will you make me a cup of tea? Yes, I will. You better do. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. Do you know what I'm craving? Yeah. A curry. Oh, should we go to the Kashmiri? Oh, you want to go out? Oh, it won't, they won't be, we won't take as long to eat one. Isn't it like a buffet there, though? Oh, what's the one in town? Saffron. Oh. Uh, oh. Stop doing that stupid smile. <laughs> Just going to go, she's following me, I'm going to go upstairs and have a look at the bathroom because I believe it's near, completely finished, is that right? Well, apart from the odd dressing. Apart from the odd dressing. There's a couple of things waiting to be done. There's a couple of things, can I come in here in shoes? Yes. Oh, it, oh, I like the stuff you've got on the side. These are really nice, where are these from? Covered. Covered. Do you want to have time to go tomorrow? Yeah. Let's have a look around. That mirror actually looks better in real life than it did on the picture. Thank you, Elizabeth. So she's got this mirror hung up here. 
Um, this came from uh, this nice. came from Zara. This was in the sale. Oh. These were in the sale. Oh. And this came from that Oliver Bonus. Oh, is that one of these now? Yes. And you got your towels. And this is the shower. Do you like my um, Oh, I do. Oh, like your little milk. Is that from Cover as well? No, no. Kill the ones, three quid. They're nice. Yes, All shower. Those from TK Maxx. <gasps> Oh, this this looks really nice. I like your toilet roll hot thing. Thank you. The I've lights look nice. Coming in, which is planned. Not sure about those there. Oh, well, they're quite nice when you're in the bar. Okay. Do you know what I think would look better though? Yeah. Just getting some big pillar candles. Getting a few different sized pillar candles. Oh, I could get another one of these lights. Yeah, something like that, but with pillar can not the not those pillar. Oh, I quite like those. Okay, well we'll agree to disagree. Um, that side table's nice though, where'd you get that from? That what? The little side table-y thing. Uh, made. Oh! Made.com in the These look lovely, made.com in the and this is yes. the bath. So I've got some floor. more of these. Floor, nice. Then, more of those coming for wire. Uh, uh, what? Because I don't want this basket, I want oh, that. Oh, okay, one second. As we were, the memory card stopped, so you're going to get another one of those to put well, no, the... I've got a little set of three coming, oh. in three different sizes. Oh. Big one to put all the cleaning stuff in. Yeah. And then the little ones might go over there, so I might put some of my other pots in. Lights look lovely. Thank you. And over here, yeah. I've got some grey metal suitcases coming, too. Oh, okay. Which one also work, because they're still stuck. I like the radiator a lot. Thank you. This is a nice colour towel. Thank you. Uh, this came from Woods in Harrogate. Oh, yeah. This is called Silver. Okay, let me just go stand in the door. Just back up, get out, move right. away, go get out of the room. <laughs> so this is the full thing. Looks really nice. Are you pleased with it? Yes, I am. It does look nice. Definitely the dark walls was the right thing. Yeah, Those are the only things that need to change because with some pillar candles, they look really lovely. Okay. They look a bit heavy. Oh, I quite like that, but... Yeah, it's real nice. Yeah, thank you. Real nice. You. What do you rate your bathroom out of 10? Oh, 10. Oh, 10? Oh, oh, how exciting to have a 10 out of 10 bathroom. Very nice bath. It is. All right, bye then. Bye, Bill. See you later. I'm going to put my jeans on. Go put your jeans on. I've got a frock on. Bye. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Just want to document you first. The first time you play on Pokemon Go. Oh, Ooh, what sound! Oh, no, shush! Stop it! I don't want you to know where I am. Do I need you have to. It requires <laughs> the GPS, so you have to. You can't. You know, Why does it want to know when I was born? So because it's just going to create your profile. What if I don't want it we'll just make it up a date then. Whatever date you wish you could have been born. Okay. I've just been for a curry and I said there's a Pokemon right here and so she wants to catch the Pokemon. He was right, he was like a little worm guy. This is him. Like a caterpillar. Look. <laughs> Who was I gonna be? Oh I don't know, just put just put a load of letters because it'll be taken anyway. On him, tap on that little guy. Look, he's there! <laughs> Day. And then I also just dropped my car off to the service. I can't pick it up till half four. It's only close to eleven. So then I've got to kill time and leave today. So I'm going to take some pictures, have a reach around the shops, things like that. It's a bit of a pain. It's going to take that long. So hopefully it'll be finished earlier. But if not, I'm sure shopping will pass the time. <laughs> Look. I love the word flow. Flow. I think flow is a spectacular word. What's that 
cheekbone and then he's just cut just two bits at the side really small bits a little bit shorter so that when I pull it back I can pull them down a little bit as well so I like it lots and lots and lots and lots and we're just on our way out of Leeds now to go to the garage so I can pick up my car and then mum's gonna drive home from there and I'm gonna drive up to Manchester from there in rush hour which is probably gonna be really good fun um but yes new hair that I'm excited to like see what it's like when I've curled it and things like that and try and play around with it a little bit as well. How long ago was it since I had a fringe cut in? Three years? Four yeah, years? Really, long, yeah. really I used to have like hair down past my boobs and a fringe. That's the last time I had a fringe so it's like three to four years ago now. But I really 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 like it. Was like when it. you were 21? It was when I was 21. It was actually, it was my 21st birthday so two years ago. Eh? No, we're nearly three years. Nearly three years. I'm not nearly 24. Can you just turn 24? Anyway. Um, yeah, so thank you very much, David. David, that was the hairdresser who was in the neck brace. He's fallen off his bike and basically injured himself very badly. His neck, his back and his sternum. He's fractured them all, so that's why he was in that neck brace. And, and he's in a lot of pain as well. So yeah, just made it out of the car park. It's a little bit claustrophobic down there. Boiling hot. Back in Manchester now. Hair is in a headband. I've just I've been back for a while actually. I was just on my phone to my best friend for like 45 minutes or something, but it felt about like five minutes. Um, and now. I am going to do some cleaning. I've got a little bit more work to do this evening, but um, it's kind of like editing and some emails, but nothing mega heavy that I'm gonna have to think loads about. So I'm gonna clean first, then sit in front of the TV for the evening. It's seven o'clock now. Oh God, it's seven o'clock now. I thought it was like five. Um, and do that work. So hopefully, I don't need to do a massive clean. Everywhere just needs a bit of a hoover because I just want it to feel a little bit nicer because it feels a little bit minging at the moment. So, that's the next thing. Let's go clean. Just finished my cleaning, made myself a cup of tea. It's about eight o'clock and I've got my laptop, so I'm gonna do hours of worth of work. Um, Cause I actually haven't really done any work today. And then I sit and chill and watch TV, I think. So, I, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Just popping something on the television. Got a cup of tea, don't forget yourself, I'm gonna repeat myself. And thank you for all the love on my new hair on the Instagram picture I put up. So many comments being like, yes, we love it. So thank you lots. I really like it too, I'm excited to style it tomorrow and have a bit dry shampoo in it and have it a bit more like, you know, a bit, more grungy and not nice. And also tomorrow in the morning, I'm taking Harry out to Selfridges to have a look at this bag with me. Um, you know, the one that I mentioned the other day, the Loewe one that I really like. So I'm gonna go see what he thinks. And if he likes it, I feel that like I may have a treat yourself moment coming on because I've had a very good and very busy month and I'm feeling proud of myself work-wise. So a big believer in treating yourself if you've been working hard. And I just might have to go and do that. So I'm gonna see what Harry thinks of it. We're gonna go in the morning, I think. Good morning. Just finished doing my hair with my fringe. All I did was I just washed my fringe because it did feel a little bit like stuck up. So I washed it and then blow dried it. And David, the hairdresser said, because my hair really always wants to part in the middle and it has like a strong parting, if that makes sense, and will not be tamed with its parting, that I need to blow dry it in like you know really roughly and push it in different directions so so it can't part in the middle so i've done that and i just put a bit of dry shampoo in the back of my hair and straightened out the kinks from when i had it in the bubble just on the way to some fridges got a coffee and a fridge which let's see let's see what harry thinks of a little bag that hat looks really nice harry <laughs> just said of course it does not the kettle at least. Right, can we just stop for a minute and take some pictures? Not on the tram tracks. Not on the tram tracks, and when we get off the tram tracks, it's fine. Thank you. Oh, here it is. Oh, 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 oh. Is that 
Selfie Games are. Mm. Mm, it's not quite the right theme for selfages really, is it? What theme would you give selfages? I don't know. <laughs> this is the bag. I really, really, really like it. I love this colour. It looks kind of yellow in this light. You can wear it on one shoulder. I like it lots. I got the bag. I'll show you guys it properly. When we get back in, I'm very, very, very pleased. Okay, I'm gonna open it. So, this is the bag it comes in. How much do you like it out of 10? Right, Harry says he doesn't like it as much as my puzzle one, because he'd said that he thinks this is the best bag ever. And I would have to agree, these are absolutely stunning bags. But I wanted something that was a little bit smarter because, I think I said this last night, it doesn't always feel like a super smart one for evenings and stuff. I'm sure if I'm doing smart blog outfits. So this is the dust bag, sorry. Nice and simple, nice and plain. And then this is it, so the straps inside. So, it's all wrapped up. So it's this lovely, I think this is called mink, this colour, but it came in black, burgundy, Quilted black leopard, and there's one more. Who's one, Harry? Uh, I don't know. Indeed. Oh, no, that was it. That was it. That was it. So, this is like the way that you clasp it in. So, you can have it just sh shut like this over the flap so this hangs down at the side. But to secure the bag, you thread the little triangle through the little thing, tab thing, like this. And what I really like about it is I feel like it looks like a very expensive bag, but it's not like designer in the face with loads of heavy branding on it. And it says Loewe on it, but up until about six months, a year ago, I wouldn't have really recognised Loewe as a brand anyway. So I think even though it says it's not overly like, oh, in your face branding. Um, and then it has a, it's got like three little compartments in here, and a little centre one. And then the strap, which I'm gonna have to work out off camera but it threads through these bits and it's fully adjustable which I like a lot because that's one of the things I really love about the puzzle bag is that you can wear it across your body you can wear it really long down your side or it short down your side so it seems quite versatile. Harry how do I get this in? Good morning everybody it's Saturday morning it's was past eight I had a bit of a lie-in and I have got the whole day free today with no plans Right now it feels really nice, but in about half an hour I'm sure I'll be complaining that I'm bored. So I'm just making a cup of tea, and then I'm going to read my book on the balcony. I might finish this book today. I'm about 100 pages off, so it's been a quick read as well. But first, I'm going to make a cup of tea and empty the dishwasher. It's 11 o'clock, still in my PJs. I've just finished that book. It was relatively enjoyable, it wasn't that good, but it was a good, like it was an easy read. Which is quite nice. And the one I'm reading next is Diary of a Teenage Girl by Phoebe Glockner. Glockner? It's this one. And it's like a mix of writing and comic book style. The film's on Netflix. I watched it the other night and I really enjoyed the film. It's a good film. So I thought I'd give the book a go. Um, oh, yeah, the band on because my fringe is so annoying when it's like not properly done. Anyway, that wasn't relevant. That's much better. I feel like a much more put together person now. Um, I'm just going to make myself a cup of tea and then um, do the little bit of work I've got to do. It's no more than an hour's worth, so it's not bad. And then I'll probably pop out then and pick up what I need to pick up, which also shouldn't take me very long at all. And yeah, just a lovely day. Indeed, it times now half 11 just come out we're going to pick up a parcel and then we're going to go for a drink somewhere i think and it's dead rowdy in manchester today it's dead rowdy and yeah just took a few pics got the new bag it's open just because i've just taken the camera out but just got some foam pictures of that as well if i can show it off a little bit it's a pale oil it's a pale oil i've got jd and coke Jim Beam actually, oh. JB and Coke. JB and Coke, sorry, I just assumed it was a JD. They didn't have that. JB she was about Coke. to give you grouse and, and then I said bourbon. Oh. Hi, hi. This hat, I love this hat, it looks really, really nice. Thanks. It's really mine. Good. It is yours and it looks absolutely lovely. Mm -hmm. Cheers. Tavi much. 
Cheers. 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 Oh, gee whiz. Honest to God. Long here though in that farmer's cap. So I think it's absolutely beautiful around here. I like its bleakness. It is a little uneven. I'll give it to that. A little uneven for Gucci loafers perhaps. <laughs> Just painted my nails. It's colour by Barry N. It's called Freestyle. It's this one. And I really, really, really like it. And it's not focusing, but trust me, it's good. <laughs> We've just gone onto the last um, disc of Buffy. We're back in the flight in Manchester, odds, as you can see. Harry's making us a cup of tea as we prepare for the last few episodes. How are you feeling about nearly finished all seven Buffy seasons? Good, it's a good thing, oh yeah. Just watched the Buffy season finale and cried a lot. Makes me cry every time and look, a faked hand, foolishly, and then I've been crying. Can you see? Where's the line? You see that big line? I was just trying to bit it with my mitt because I st stupidly did it and then thought I could take on the Buffy season finale. No one is strong enough for that. No one. Harry cried as well, didn't you? Another cry. So good though, but it's just so sad. This is the end of this weekly vlog, guys. What a bummer. We're gonna watch Stranger Things next, but obviously nothing can fill the hole that Buffy leaves in my heart every single time I finish it, and this is probably the fifth time I've watched it from beginning to end. Every time. Thanks for watching this week's weekly vlog. Hope you've enjoyed for it. it. Think of us and our grief over Buffy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> See you in the next one guys, thank you very much for watching. <laughs>